On a serious note though, okay, a little leafy reference here. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. I ask you, you filthy pig watching this very video right here, what do all of those absolutely beautiful individuals have in common? Tell me, please, please spouse, tell me what they have in common. Just look at them, aren't they absolutely cute? So we have a second order boy right here, non-homogeneous, oh, and a second order and a first order. Oh, they are so cute. On a serious note though, okay, a little leafy reference here. What do all of those have in common? Let us do a few slide manipulations, okay? Maybe you can see then what they have in common. Let us divide both sides by two on the first one. Meaning, on the first one, we are going to get y double prime over two plus y prime plus y is nothing but t squared over two minus two times t. Just ignore this. Just take a look at this figure right here, okay? Let us move on with the next one. Well, there's not too much to say about that. That's already in a real nice form. What about this one right here, okay? For this next one, we are exactly having y double prime over two, but times one quarter. Then negative y prime, I'm going to put it like this, times one half, plus y being equal to t minus one. Now we have one half in front. One quarter is nothing but one half squared. Maybe you can already see something really peculiar here. Those are really special kinds of differential equations. Okay, they are of a certain form. Namely, what we have here is the summation. Okay, let's say we have an nth order differential equation, a non homogeneous one. And what do we have? We have a certain common factor at the front. The same thing here, three and then one. It's nothing but 3 to the 0th power, so some a to the kth power. Also what we have is the kth derivative of y. And also down here we have 2 factorial, 1 factorial, 0 factorial, 2 factorial, 1 factorial, 0 factorial. Being equal to some, I don't know, for example, let's choose one example right here that we are going to play with, for example, t squared over 2, okay, minus 2 times t. They are of this form. And this looks extremely like something that we have discussed, like a few days ago, probably. Now, we are going to use the d notation right here. I'm going to drag the d to the outside, d to the kth power. Meaning, overall, this thing right here is nothing but not really the exponential derivative. So it's not completely the translation operator at the moment, the shift operator. It would be if we would n go, uh, if we would n go to infinity, let n go to infinity, then it would work out. But at the moment, it doesn't work out. And this video revolves around finding particular solutions to non-homogeneous differential equations and I did this already using the, um, the geometric series on the d operator but this time it's just for a special type of differential equation where it does fit with this thing right here. Now we let n go to infinity on both sides. As you might notice this side is not dependent on n meaning in the limit for n to infinity we are going to encounter that we have e to the ad y of t is thus nothing but t squared over 2 minus 2 times t. Let me tell you this once again. This procedure does not work out if there would be a sign, for example, here on this side, just because the sign in itself is defined as a limit already, and it's, it just doesn't work out. The, the interchange of limit doesn't work out. So, so the limit as n approaches infinity of as n approaches infinity of sine of t is not the same as sine of t. It doesn't work out. I, I, I tried it. They are just convergence problems. But for 
this type of differential equations where you just have simple polynomials on the other side, you can actually find yet again particular solutions to those differential equations. Meaning, if we just apply our translation operator to this whole thing, we are going to get y of t plus a is t squared over 2 minus 2 times t. Isn't that cool? This doesn't really look like a solution to our differential equation yet, just because uh, we are looking for y of t, not y of t plus a. Well, we are just going to shift it a units to the right, okay? We are going to say that t plus a is nothing but our new t, it's a transformation, okay? Meaning our t is thus the new t minus a. Meaning overall, that's equivalent to saying, or that implies that y of t is t minus a squared over 2 minus 2 t minus a. We can write all of this out, leaving us with, okay, we are going to get, um, I'm going to put it here, t squared over 2 minus a times t plus a squared over 2 minus 2 times t minus 2 times a. Now, we were dealing with an nth order differential equation right here. Now, how often can we differentiate this function y after it becomes zero? Well, if we differentiate it one time, y prime, we are just going to get, okay, this is going to give us t minus a minus two, right? t minus a minus two. This is what we are going to get. If we differentiate it even further, y double prime, it's going to result in simply one. Okay, and if we differentiate even further, so for O, and then we are going to get um, D to the third power Y, it's going to result in zero. Meaning, if we just take a look at this more general form, it doesn't matter what it equals to on the other side. Our solution right now is going to vanish after the second derivative. Meaning, if we plug all of this in, we can now check if this right here is seriously a particular solution to our differential equation that we had up here, namely in this case, um, this one right here, okay? Meaning, if we would just plug it in, then we are going to get, um, uh, yeah, I was looking at a right here instead of our um, two, so plugging it into here wouldn't be any good, I think, but we can plug it into this more general version. Okay, on the second order term, we are going to get a factor of a squared, okay? a squared times one is just a squared. Then, up next, is that we are going to get um, a times the first derivative, so plus a times t. Also, I forgot here the over 2, we have over 2 factorial, a squared over 2. Do not forget that. So a times t minus a squared minus, um, is it seriously a to the third power? I'm just wondering at the moment. Um, give me a second to think about it. A times t minus 2t. Okay, I don't want to do any mis... Oh, no, 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 it was okay. Um, a, a squared, which are, yeah, okay, minus 2 times a, I'm terribly sorry, I was just being stupid right here. And then plus our original one, so plus t squared over 2 minus a times t plus a squared over 2 minus 2 times t minus 2 times a. Whew. Okay, okay. Now, from this point on, we can try to simplify. a squared over 2 and a squared over 2 gives us a squared minus a squared is going to vanish. We get rid of the higher order. Negative 2a, negative 2a. Do we have a sign mistake right here? Have I spotted a sign mistake? This is absolutely abysmal. Why do I have a sign mistake right here? This ain't good because we are going to get a positive 2 times a right here. Negative and negative is going to result in something positive. Okay, um, then this is the one right here. Exactly. Meaning, this and that is going to cancel out. I'm terribly sorry, it's a lot of algebra right here and sign mistakes happen really quickly. And other than that, a times t and negative a times t are going to cancel out, leaving us with simply t squared over 2 
minus 2 times t. Is this what we wanted? Yeah, right. This is exactly what we wanted to have. Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry for the small mess right here. This is more of a complementary video. Because, you see, if you encounter differential equations of this form and you are just simply looking for a particular solution, you can actually take the limit on both sides, do a bit of physicist stuff right here, and et voila, you're going to have yourself a little particular solution, a special solution to this differential equation. Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and comment channel if you like it. If you want to support the channel for more, but as you said, I create a support channel on Patreon. I'm until next video. Have a flammable bra. See ya. Ah, ciao.